And welcome back to Let's Play Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. So each time I do this, you're going to see me start up from DOS because uh, I like to uh, save and exit. I actually, uh, at the last cut, I was just looking for the old game manual, and I found some old game manuals, but not this game. So um, fortunately, the internet has provided, and I got the information I need. Really wish I had the book uh, just because it makes it more fun to play. But, um, without the book, that's okay. So, uh, we now know what to do. And we can see prescription is for Tyloxyl Polynide orally two times a day for five days. Okay. And I'm going to go in back. And I think what we're going to find... This is the, uh, this is the mixing counter so we'll just go right to it and we're gonna find I can show you all the things here but tyloxyl polynide is not among them so I'm gonna go over to the manual I'm tabbing out you can't see it because it's um not something I want to show uh, tylox polynide an effective aid in the treatment of the vapor is not possible to synthesize in the home laboratory. However, substitutions are permissible. See, peptoclimine tetrazole. Okay. Peptoclimine tetrazole. Effective aid in the treatment of the vapors available from Fernet Formula, Cincinnati, Ohio. Peptoclimine tetrazole is an acceptable substitute for tolox polynide dispense at 40 ml per bottle. Great. Okay. So we're going to take... Uh, oh, first of all, do we have the stuff? Uh, we have peptoclimine tetrazole right there. Okay, I'm going to set that on the counter. And we'll get a medicine bottle. And we'll get a graduated cylinder. And we're going to measure out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, put that back. Pour that into the bottle. And cork it. You carefully label the container Miss Penelope Prim for internal use and what internals they are. You dream about them day and night. Her, 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 her. Very funny. <coughs> All right. That's the level of humor we're going to see in this game, and that's why I loved it when I was 13. So now at now at 30, how old am I? 36. Yeah. It's still funny. What am I talking about? Okay. Thank you, Frederick. Th oh, thank you, Frederick. This looks perfect. You are a scholar and a gentleman. Shucks, I'm just a poor pharmacist trying to please my favorite customer. Will I see you again soon? I think that can be arranged, Frederick. See you soon. I'll be waiting. It's so long for now, Penelope. It's so long now, Penelope. Added a fur in there. Okay. Unfortunately, you were so taken with Penelope's angelic presence that you forgot to charge her the 19 cents she owed you. Alright, it's... Ms. Back. Good day, Freddy, Freddy Farkas! Well, good day to you, Ms. Back. What can I do for you today? Well, Freddy Farkas, Doc Gillespie, that no good gin soaked sodden old lush, wrote me this damn prescription that'll probably cost me an arm and a leg. Here, take this prescription. The rocket from that old wino doctor is making my new ensemble stink to high heaven. Okay. Uh, let's go into the back. Alright. Uh, let's take a look. Helen Back's prescription is barely legible due to all the whiskey spots, but you eventually decipher it. Helen Back, Quinotrazate tabs, three by seven days. Okay. So I'm going to tab over to the manual, and I can find Quinotrazate, quinine, Quinotrazate, a highly efficacious and useful medication when taken orally at a dosage of NTE, 60 milligrams per day, to prepare um, to 15... 15 milliliters of bismuth enterosalicylene, add 30 grams of phenidol oxytrigliclorate to produce quinotrazate. Mix together in a glass beaker, stir the mixture well, using only a pure clean glass rod, process into pill form, usual dosage is 21 pills. Okay, three times a day, seven days, that's 21 pills. We can do that. Okay. 
So now we're going to look for bismuth enterosalicylene. Okay, that's the, f um, that's the very first one. Okay, great. And the powder is going to be quinotrazate. Enter sodium bicarbonate. Oh. No, 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 no. Hmm? Oh, quinotrazate is what we're looking for. Phenidol oxtrigalochlorate. Oh, this stuff. Great. All right. Um, 30 grams. One, two, three, four, five, six. There, 30 grams. And 15 ml. So graduated cylinder. One, two, three. Okay, and we're gonna put it in a beaker. To the 15 ml, add the powder. So liquid first, solid second. Stir it up with a glass rod. Throw away the glass rod. Okay, and pour it into the pill maker. Beaker back, medicine bottle made three pills. Put them in the bottle. We gotta do this six more times. All right. So I am clicking through things pretty quickly when I more or less know what to do, so um, apologies if anyone's trying to read along. Don't bother. I'm trying to play through this at a pace. I mean, it's been years since I played this, but uh, I do remember some things and can just make it go a little quicker rather than try to figure everything out which uh, you would have to do if you wanted to play this game yourself okay 21 pills let's cork it carefully label the container mrs. Helen back take three times daily just before meals Helen back ah, ha, 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 ha. great names all right, and inventory pill bottle, okay. Give it to Helen. Score. That's better, Freddy Farkas. That'll be 22 cents, Miss Bat. Oh, I clicked too fast. Freddy, honey, just slide that handsome pharmacist butt on over here. I got something I need from you. Morning, Sadie. What do you got? I got a prescription here I need filled. Something that'll increase my womanly powers, if you know what I mean. Be dear and fill it for me right away, won't you? I simply can't wait to try it out. Your wish is my command, madam. You take the prescription from the madam. What a busy morning. You haven't had to fill this many prescriptions since Custer's troop stayed at the Dirty Sheets Hotel. Okay, now, I'm going to go right into the inventory. Let's take a look. The prescription is impossible to read. That's what happens when Doc writes a prescription through his bleary, whiskey-soaked eyeballs. Okay, so this is what actually tripped me up the very first time I played this, way back uh, at the age of 13 or so. So I figured out, okay, well, if I can't read the prescription, I'll go... Excuse me, Sadie, I gotta run... Sorry. Excuse me, Sadie, I gotta run out for a bit. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, Freddy, but hurry back. I get my voices mixed up. Okay, so I figured out you need to go to the doctor. All right, so the doctor, who's a drunkard, is gonna be at the saloon. Seems logical. All right, so we know where the saloon is. It's a couple screens to the left. There it is, the Golden Ball Saloon. And just to, to clarify what I'm doing, so sometimes I go up to the top and get the um, change uh, change mouse cursors this way. I can also right click and I can switch between tools. So I'll try to right click more. All right, that's loud music. Let's take a look. Sam Andreas owns and runs the Golden Ball Saloon. He's smart, savvy, and generous to a fault. Let's take a look at the piano guy. It's Neville Shute, the piano player. You know, Neville Shute, the piano player. He's doing the best he can. Uh, just one of the rugged, rough-hewn tables of the saloon. This one is reserved for down-on-their-luck losers, imbeciles, sad sacks, hopeless cases, and deadbeats. 
That is to say, general admission. Three mean-looking hombres sit up close to the stage. Upon closer examination, you see they're drinking wine spritzers. Maybe they're not so mean after all. And it's... Doc Gillespie! Doc Dizzy Gillespie. He's been drinking again. Ah ha ha ha. Must be office hours. Alright, let's go talk to the Doc. Doc! Hey, Doc! Huh? Who's that? Are you drunk again? Me? Drunk? <laughs> Never! I'm sober as the day I was plowed off my... <laughs> I mean, the day I was born. Okay. So what we can do, and this I needed to get a to, to get a book, a, a code book, because they didn't have walkthroughs online back then. Uh, or, or if they did, I didn't know how to find them. Uh, but you need, I was stuck and completely couldn't do it. Had to actually buy a, a, um, a hint book. Uh, so you have to pick up, you have to take the glass from him, and I could never figure this out on my own at 13, is take the glass and use it as a lens. And we can now read the prescription. Madame Ovary. <laughs> Testosterate. 25 milligrams per day as directed. Now, I'm going to skip a step here. So what we would do if we were slavishly following the instructions is we would go back to the pharmacy mix up the testosterone which is to improve manliness according to the book give it to uh, Madame Overy who is in fact the madam of the town and she'd come back saying one of her girls grew a beer so uh, we could we could go through that exercise but then we would just prove that it's the wrong prescription and I can just go into my inventory and take the prescription and whiskey glass combination and give that to the doc. Uh, gotta get it on him. That's not enough whiskey in the glass to drink. No, not me, him. There we go. You thrust the prescription and the whiskey glass under doc's nose. Hey doc, this says testosterone. You really want to prescribe this to a woman? Testosterone? Hmm. No, I suppose that would be unif- <laughs> And if it, a poor choice. Let's see, this was for Shady Overy, right? I must have meant something else. Doc scribbles a correction on the prescription and hands it back to you. Here you go, take this back to the pharmacy and have fun. Thanks, Doc. I hope I'm crying to me, George Bailey. I swear I'll warrant for your arrest. Okay. Alright. Let's head back to the pharmacy. Alright, another dose of the tawdry racial humor. How? Yeah, yeah. Time for you to shift over. Oh, please, you've been reading too many dime novels. Stop talking like that. Just trying to please the tourists, Herb. Sure, sure, tourists, whatever. See you later. I'm gonna go soak my corns. My people call it maize. Sheesh. Now does he mean maize corn or does he mean foot corns? I guess we'll never know. Let's go back in. I'm back, Sadie. Sorry for a delay. I just had to check a few things out. Perfectly okay, Freddy Hun. I was just admiring the way you display your goods. Ugh. Look who's talking. Oof. 